Good afternoon YouTube, Akira2805 here. And welcome back to another segment of my collections of 2012. Tonight I'm here to talk about my Predator collection. I have a grand total of three. One of them I'm not very happy with. Never really was. I was very disappointed. I mean, my first Predator collection, um, excuse me, uh, my first Predator figure in a very long time. I'm talking like uh, over the course of maybe 10 years. <laughs> uh, I just wasn't, you know, 100% happy with it. But uh, I'll show you what I mean by that firsthand. And with all that said, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's get on with the show. All right. Introducing first from Aliens vs. Predator Requiem or AVPR, the Wolf Predator. And this one is the one I was talking about that I am very disappointed in. The stance you see him in now is the pretty much the only stance he's able to take. Because his waist right here, let me stop this for a minute. And let me uh, zoom in. His waist has no articulation and it's it forms a bit of a yeah, where's my finger? There it is. It forms a bit of a and a loop, a slight loop to the right or his left. No, no, his right. Eh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, now this guy came packaged standing up, which is he pretty much leans to the left. And the only way to get him to be supposedly standing straight is to put his legs in this format. That I did not like. I'm going to buy a figure. I want to be able to put him in a pose that I like. And I'm sure y'all share the same opinion. Another reason why I don't really like this figure is his feet. Being the only pose he can take, this, this foot is planted fine. Over this one, that's just pathetic. I mean, I mean, excuse me. I mean, sound like Forrest Gump there. <laughs> no, uh, it's a toy, yes, but don't make it look like one. If you're gonna make an action figure, make it able to completely plant its feet, or at least a lot better than this. That's just, you know. Embarrassing. I mean, these are predator figures. You got to make them look show accurate as possible, with some articulation to take a decent stance, or at least one that you would like him to have, and being able to plant its feet, you know, completely on the uh, the ground. But aside from that, it's a. It's an okay figure. I mean, they left nothing out. I mean, great, uh, great paint apps, sculpture-wise, you know, good shaping body. I mean, he looks great. Let me get this guy moving again so you can give a full 360-degree turn of him. But um, aside from how he looks, I do not recommend this guy at all because he's only able to take one pose and this is it, which is kind of pathetic. All right, let's move on to the next one, shall we? And introducing next, Predator 2's City Hunter. Designed by NECA. And this one is a much better improvement over my Wolf Predator. To be honest, I can't really remember, but I don't think the, the Wolf Predator I have was uh, made by NECA. I think it was made by you know, someone else. And 
You can really tell the difference as far as the feet are concerned. Um, the City Hunter's feet are almost completely planted, which makes an, a far better improvement over the Wolf Predator. And unlike the Wolf Predator, he doesn't come with a pre-chosen body form, which which allows you to take only one stance, and it's not even your choice. This one has over 25 points of articulation, and to be honest, I could have had almost any stance I wanted him to be in. He could have been crouching, it could have been on one knee if he wanted to, but um, to be honest, I like my predators standing tall and proud. Weapons in hand, blades engaged on his, on his wrist blades, looking slightly off to the side. You know, just a badass stance in my opinion. Ready to strike at any moment. Uh, for NECA, NECA is not that bad of a toy corporation. You know, they do try to mimic as best they can. And to be honest, this one they did a real good job on. The paint apps, the molding, the sculpture. They really did make this thing as movie accurate as possible. Uh, the only complaint I have with this figure, I'm not sure if it was just a um, production default, but his spear, the weapon, is not exactly even. And you can really tell from it coming around here. See, that is kind of like a slight zigzag action. It's supposed to be completely straight. But uh, aside from that, I have no complaints about this figure. I do highly recommend it. If you're a huge fan of the Predator movie series like I am, this is the one for you. Uh, now, they do have this version also with his mask off, but um, I like my Predators with the masks on. You know, have all the equipment already on their bodies. All right, before we wrap this up, I'm going to show you what he came with. He came with a skull and spine, which he is able to hold. Very good design on this, I must say. This is incredible. He came with an extra pair of hands, or excuse me, hand, which this one was already on him. I don't know why it's so damn blurry for. You know, stop for a second. I think the camera's trying to focus in on a moving object. Let me just zoom in here on its own. Now, this hand was already on the hand holding the spear. I had to switch that out because, um, unfortunately, it was unable to hold the spear. And I'm like, okay, this guy came with a spear. Why not have him hold it? You know, duh. And it was a bitch to get off. I'm like, okay. Yeah, once I got this off, I was like, I am never switching hands again. And he also came with his spear, uh, disengaged. Fun little toy to have. And he also came with a the Predator's skull. Now this one is the Berserker's uh, skull from the... Uh, Predators movie, um, the latest one that just came out with the uh, Berserker Predator. Yeah, yeah, this is his skull. Uh, very nice, I must say. Um, they really made this thing as accurate as possible to mimic a to mimic a skeletal structure of a predator. Very well detailed, in my opinion. Extremely nice. All right, and that was it for his accessories. All right, moving on. And finally, we have Classic Predator from the first Predator movie. This one, I have absolutely no complaints at all. Feet completely planted. able to put him in to a decent stance that doesn't require one, you know, one pre-chosen stance that the people gave him. NECA really did good on this guy. 
true he has no waist articulation but at least unlike wolf it doesn't force you to put it into a crouching stance this guy looks great standing up in my opinion I mean blades engaged you know left hand ready to grasp left hand just ready to grab something and just rip it right off or you know a skull or or a spinal column you know whatever his gun his uh, excuse me plasma caster on his left shoulder is able to uh, be removed uh, the whole thing from front to back but uh, why would you want to do that His plasma caster currently is disengaged, but you can, you know, just raise it up. And let me show you. Well, not going to show you because I can't do it with one arm. But but it can be raised up. As you can see, it's pointing down the disengaged mode. But uh, NECA spared no expense in this guy's design. The color wraps, the articulation, uh, the body format is just amazing. great a great design for a great predator all right one more time zoom in a little bit closer if I can yep all right that's about it ladies and gentlemen let's wrap this up alrighty then well I guess that concludes the predators for tonight uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, um, good news, I'm working on a fourth predator. Just haven't found him yet. Well, actually, um, when I get rid of the when I get rid of the wolf predator, and it will happen. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like him at all anymore. <laughs> that review just killed it for me right there. I'm like, uh, I never really looked that close at him before. He's always been maybe a good two or three feet from me, but being up close and that way, I just don't like him anymore. <laughs> to hell with you! Um, anyway, I'm working on another predator, like I said. Just haven't found him yet. He's out there somewhere. <laughs> and believe me, I will get him, and I will let y'all know as soon as possible. All right, let's uh, wrap this up. Uh, do comment on this video. Uh, let me know if y'all want to see anything else I have here, which is not that much more. I maybe have one more set of figures. Yeah, uh, that would be my robot Damashi collection, which again, I only have a grand total of three. I'm not really a huge, huge fan of Robot Damashi's collection, you know, because it's still new. You know, they're still making, you know, robots here and there from, uh, and mechas from different uh, series. But uh, you know, those are just my three favorites for the time being. And if y'all want to see that, just let me know. I'd more than happy to do that for y'all. All right. Well, thumbs up the video if you liked it, as usual. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and... I guess that's a wrap. So until next time, this is Akira2805 signing off, and thanks for watching.